Hey babes, welcome and welcome back. It's your girl Midnight Moon and today we're going to be talking about the new Smashbox Primed for Life primers. Influencer recently sent me one of the primers from Smashbox's new collection of primers so I'm super excited to try it out. If you guys are interested in seeing this little demo review and exactly what these primers are then just make sure you keep on watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button join the youtube beauty family over here and don't forget to hit the bell so you stay tuned with all my latest videos don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you like makeup and all things beauty and comment and let me know if you guys will be trying any of these smashbox primers now without further ado let's get into it don't give us that paparazzi, baby. You know they always trying to give me a million dollars at the night Disclaimers, disclaimers, babies. So, Influencer did send me this, as I said earlier. Influencer is a third-party platform for influencers and beauty lovers uh, where they can experience free products for just reviewing them. You can give your 100% honest reviews, but you guys already know it's always, always honest over here on this channel. We don't play that. So this is a sponsored video. It is not being paid though, just free product to review. This is the Smashbox Primed for Life Influencer Box Box. It's primed for the moment. So they have four new primers in their range and one is to correct which is an anti-redness primer made with algae and silk screen complex uh there's also a primerizer and hydrating primer with triple hyaluronic acid and the same silk screen complex we have the photo finish illuminate glow primer which contains vitamin c and the silk screen complex again all of them have the silk screen complex and the one that I received, which I'm really super excited for, because y'all know this is one of my favorite ingredients, like my top five favorite ingredients. And this is the Photo Finish Control Mattifying Primer with Salicylic Acid. Y'all know over on my Instagram, I'm always raving about salicylic acid. I am acne prone. If you guys can't see it, um, it's there. It's there. Trust me, the camera's hiding it. But, um... We are definitely very acne prone, so I do have a lot of redness. I do have a lot of inflammation. I also tend to have more hormonal cystic acne. I get a lot of my acne around the jawline, around the chin. I also do have congested pores, bumps, and some hyperpigmentation. So, you know, we love to get rid of that stuff, right? We like to have nice, clear skin. So I just wanted to show you guys real quick. These are the four on the box. And I'm going to show you guys mine up close. And I don't know about y'all, but I haven't used the Smashbox product in a minute. Not that they're a bad brand. They're a really good brand. It's just I can't afford it all the time. So if I can get one or two of their products once in a while, I will. Um, I did have a mascara by them. I don't remember which one it was. I'll have it written in here. That was really, really good. It was more on the pricey side. I'd give it like a good four star, but it was it was a dope mascara. And it was just the sample size. I usually have problems with sample sizes because the tubings, the brushes are usually really small. On our little pamphlet, it says the new vegan and cruelty-free photo finish control mattifying primer delivers a matte look while controlling oil and defends skin. Infused with silk screen complex, witch hazel, salicylic acid, and zinc. No clogging, no congestion. So excited. So these are meant to help strengthen skin against environmental aggressors like pollution and blue light with the silk screen complex. That's what that does. Um, it contains antioxidants, hyaluronic acid probiotic extract vitamins and algae so i think it has a lot of amazing ingredients and i'm super excited to try this because i don't find too many really good primers for my skin type because my skin has the acne i have the bumps i have the texture and some primers kind of tend to 
push that out more while others don't. This is what the box looks like. Simple packaging. I'm just gonna read off the back now. It says, this lightweight gel primer helps control shine with witch hazel, salicylic acid, and zinc. Y'all know witch hazel is another one of my favorite ingredients. I love witch hazel as a toner, just like tea tree oil I tend to use as a toner, but with that, you have to dilute it because I like to use the essential, the pure stuff. Zinc has been a lifesaver in the acne world. Any products mentioned will be linked down there below. It says again about the Skin Defend with the Silkscreen Complex to help balance skin, boost hydration, protect against environmental stressors like pollution. Um, it also says makeup perfected, shine-free look with a matte finish, breathable veil smooths and blurs imperfections, helps makeup glide on and look better longer. Um, to use smooth over clean skin, wear alone or under makeup to mattify and oil control. So that sounds really cool. I'm trying to see the ingredients. So these primers are water-based. I see water as the first ingredient, which when I find a good primer, that's usually the first ingredient. And most of the time it's silicone free. So I'm trying to see if this is silicone free. Okay, so now that we've talked a little bit about the product, this is the actual baby right here. I love, love the design and how they packaged it. The little pops of colors for each primer they have a different color one's in red one's in blue one's in green and then this is the purple the applicator really easy oh so it's very liquidy i didn't even mean to do that i was trying to show you guys so that's how the primer looks oh it feels nice and thick she thick she thick okay I might like this one. It doesn't have a harsh scent. It's very, there is a scent, but it's very light. I can't really describe what it is. I think that might be due to the salicylic acid because I notice a lot of products that have salicylic acid that I use have that type of scent. Um, could also be the witch hazel. So let's go ahead and try this baby out. This is how my skin looks before makeup. I don't have anything on except my skincare. Um, so let's put this baby on. I've never had a primer that felt this thick, so I'm really excited. It has this yellow hue to it, if you guys can see that. So I'm obsessed with how thick she is. Let me get up close so you guys can see it, because I need to see this too. And I will definitely have to use it a few more times before I see any type of results with the salic salic acid and the witch hazel. Wow. Oh, that was a really nice blend. Like, really nice. Gonna put some up here. I'm gonna do half my face, and then I'm gonna do the rest once I show you guys how half of it looks. So you guys can get more of a feel if it actually makes a difference. So this is the side with primer. And this is the side without. I definitely do see less shine. It did look like it mattified my skin. My skin feels super smooth. So I hope it looks good after we apply our foundation and cream products. Um, let's go ahead and finish off our face with the primer. I'm going to let you guys know my first thoughts. I'm liking it. Like really liking it so far. It feels nice on the skin. It doesn't really have that cooling sensation that I find that I like with my primers. Um, but it's really not a big deal as long as it blurs out and mattifies and keeps the oil in check. It gave a really smooth finish. At least that's how it feels on my skin. It feels very lightweight, not heavy at all. It literally feels like silk on your skin. And as it's setting in and drying down i am noticing more of that matte finish i'm going to go ahead and let it set down the rest of the way we'll give it another couple minutes it did mattify as said it took away a lot of the shine that i did have it looks a little more blurred let's go ahead and put on foundation 
and see how it goes. Right, we're back and this is how we're looking so far. Really like this so far. Again, I said that earlier, but now with foundation, I don't see a lot of the bumps unless I'm like super up close, but that's with any product. Our skin is not perfect, especially if you have bumps or craters or anything like that. Um, like I said, we are going to do a wear test and see how well this holds up. But lay down a nice smooth foundation on the skin. I'm going to go ahead and get into my cream products. So now I'm going to go ahead and put on my cream products as well as my eye base and do my brows. Okay, this is how it's looking. Eyebrows are done, crease is done, base is almost done. We're gonna go ahead and set my face with setting powder and then do our wear test. All right guys, so this is the finished look. This is what I came up with for today. I'm loving it. You know, y'all know 2022 all year long. I gotta come colorful because we did too many natural looks for 2021. So we need the pops, we need um, some bolder look. So here we are. I'm loving this primer. It's absolutely amazing. We're going to go ahead and do the wear test now and see how long this baby holds up. I hope it lasts a while because I am obsessed with this primer right now. So let's go ahead and do this wear test and we will come back with our final thoughts and how it looks. All right, guys, we're back. It's been about five and a half, maybe six hours. It's holding up really well. This is going to be my only check-in because I normally don't wear makeup longer than this time, five or six hours. I really don't have time in the morning to get my kids ready, get my makeup ready, my hair done, and everything done, and for us to leave at a good time. So this is... All I'm going to do for five hours, it did amazing. I would say this is still a really good primer, even though all we did was a five-hour test because I have tested out other primers and they usually don't even last this long without looking patchy or caked up. I'm going to move up a little closer for you guys you, so you could get a better look. And this is how it's looking. Again, the bumps, that's normal, but uh, everything else looks really good. I don't see a white cast from the primer. Some primers have that white cast and it feels really nice on the skin. It doesn't feel drying at all, even throughout the day. There's no creasing on my face and I feel like my makeup stayed put a lot longer than it would have with a different primer. So that's a really good plus. The ingredients are amazing in this stuff. Y'all know, again, I love witch hazel. I love salicylic acid. I think this is a really cool product and Smashbox killed these primers. I would love to try out the other ones. And if you guys do get your hands on the other ones, come back to this video, comment, and let me know how they went because I want to know. So that is pretty much it. We're actually going to go ahead and get into filming our Aceology mask. Stay tuned on Instagram. It may already be posted by the time I post this video up. Um... But I'm super excited, so we're about to go get into this. If you haven't yet, then please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos. And if you'd like to see more makeup try-ons, wear tests, first impressions, and all that good beauty stuff, then just make sure you like the video and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see. Let me know if you liked this primer. Are you going to go run out and get one now? Follow me on Instagram if you haven't, at Midnight Moon Makeup. And we will see you guys back here next Thursday, as always. And as always, y'all stay beautifully awesome. Later.